The summer is finally here, which means we get longer days and warmer weather, but with that also comes faster growing grass. Now, I have a guy that comes out and mows the yard every couple of weeks, but the grass here grows fast enough that I still need help in between cuts. I don't really have enough time to get out and push mow the yard on my own, so robotic mower is definitely the best option for me. In this video, I'll be partnering with Sunseeker to take a look at their X3 Plus. This lawn mower features all the same flagship options that you would get in the X Series lineup, just in a sleeker, more affordable package. Let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that stands out is just how easy this was to set up. There are no boundary wires that are required. This uses the AO Navi positioning system, which fuses RTK, GNSS, and VSLAM for precise navigation. To get this set up, I just needed to find a spot for the charging base, and then I put the mower on the charging base so it could go ahead and start charging. From there, I installed the RTK on the included pole. It does need to be about six feet away from a fence or a tree. I have a two-story house, so mine had to go out just a little bit further. I've got it about 10 feet away from the base station. From there, you just scan the QR code on the machine to download the application and then sync up the mower with your phone and you're good to go. One thing that I definitely noticed while setting this up is out of all the robotic lawnmowers that I've tested that have an RTK setup, this locked on to the satellites the quickest. So I use the same location for the RTK whenever I install it. Some lawnmowers that I've tested have trouble connecting to the satellites, but this did not have any trouble and locked on pretty much instantly. From there, you'll guide the robotic mower like a remote controlled car around the perimeter of your yard to set up the map. You can set up different work zones and even corridors to get from one work zone to the other. This does support up to six different work zones. There's even an option to add no-go zones in case you have a flower bed or somewhere where you don't want this to go. One thing that really makes the X3 Plus stand out from other mowers that I've tried in the past is the Vision AI. So the cameras in front here can recognize over 200 different types of objects and can easily avoid them. The Vision AI can detect objects like a basketball or toys or even your pet, but it doesn't recognize tall grass or weeds as an obstacle and continues to mow right through them. Other mowers that I've tried in the past actually detect taller weeds or grass as an obstacle and actively avoid them, which kind of defeats the purpose. With the AO Navi positioning system, the lawnmower knows where it is at all times. You don't have to worry about losing signal and the lawnmower kind of making its way out of the path or out of the zone. It stays where it's supposed to be at all times. This can even mow under trees without losing signal. I do have a two-story house, and even with that two-story house blocking line of sight, I never lost signal with the mower. There's nothing better than coming home to freshly cut grass and a fresh lines in your yard. And that's what you get with the Sunseeker X3 Pro. This does have intelligent mapping and route planning, so it gets every inch of your yard. On my first cut here, the grass was pretty overgrown and thick. This had no issues powering through the thicker grass and was powerful enough to take out the taller weeds and grass that came in front of it. My yard's not exactly flat and there are all kinds of divots and holes in the yard. Thanks to the intelligent traction control and terrain aware power, this didn't lose traction and you didn't have those instances where the tires slip, the machine was able to maintain traction throughout my entire yard. If you do have hills or slopes, this can also tackle 30% inclines. The blade disc has a floating design. You can see the two sled rails on the side of the blade here. Those follow the terrain. That way you don't have to worry about scalping your grass. Within the application, you can schedule cuts daily or even once a week. And this is super quiet at less than 60 decibels. You don't have to worry about waking up the neighbors. You can even cut your grass early in the morning. If you do have this set up on an automatic schedule and it happens to rain, this does have rain sensors and you can set this to pause during the rain and then come back later to finish cutting. You are able to manually adjust the height of the deck from 1.6 inches to 3.2 inches. That way you're able to cut your grass to the desired height or the height that's healthiest for the type of grass that you have. Like I mentioned earlier, we do hire a guy to come out and mow every couple of weeks. So for me, I only really need help with the front yard 
that's viewable from the street. And this is perfect for that. This is able to mow up to 0.3 acres, which is more than my front yard. So that's definitely perfect for my scenario. Overall, I have to say, if you're looking for a robotic mower that has premium features, is super easy to set up with no boundary wire and can cut a smaller yard at an affordable price, then the Sunseeker X3 Plus is definitely a great option. I'll be sure to include links in the description of where you can find out more information about the Sunseeker X3 Plus and where you can pick one up for yourself. That about wraps it up for this video. Thanks guys for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.